What's up guys, welcome to episode 7 of Beardman FC. We've done so well since the last time you saw me, so we're just going to get straight in to our previous fixtures, and I will show you how well we've done. Isn't this a sight for sore eyes? All this green! It makes me feel so happy. You can't believe this. You know, you were here last time, we beat Wickham, and then we just went on a freaking tear. We beat Yeovil, Matt McClure, scoring a goal, getting injured in training right after, so I haven't seen him for a while. <clears throat> we then beat Bartett 4-1, Ambrose with a hat trick. Cambridge 3-1, Ambrose had a brace. Newport 5-1, Ambrose and Falpala just annihilated them. And then we beat Wimbledon 3-0, Falpala with a hat trick of all people. Then we, we lost to Hartlepool and Tyler Bristol Rovers, but that doesn't matter. Win. Lots of wins, which is awesome. And I'm going to show you on the table, we're in fourth. It's amazing. Eight points from dropping out of the playoff spots. Granted, there's still a ton of games to go, so anything could happen. But we're also four points off from the automatic promotion spots. So originally, I'm thinking we're going to finish here because we were not doing so well. Now I'm thinking like playoffs, auto promotion, it could happen. So we're just going to get straight into this game against York, as Maggie interrupts me constantly, and uh, I will show you our tactics. Alright guys, you see we have the exact same formation from episode 6. Our 4-1-3-2 silliness with wingbacks has honestly worked, so we're going to keep using it. We have Ambrose Falpala up top. Labity, Brian, Richards, Ferdinand in the midfield. Townsend, Astrain, Di Camona, and Kavanaugh in the back. Cousins in goal. And they're playing a 5-3-2. So, it won't be terrible. These guys are just going to cancel out each other. And then hopefully we can kind of exploit some space in the midfield. I'm going to do instructions, and uh, we'll see you at the game. <laughs> has begun. Let's see how we can do in the beginning stages here. Strain Ferdinand. We haven't done really, we've been doing really well. The last two games I don't get why we had a little bit of a blip. Brian, free kick. Oof, Brian again. Ambrose, back post. He's been killing it. Jesus Christ, 16 goals this season. Thierry Ambrose is wrecking faces. Oh my goodness. And it's always been like that. Far post shot. It never fails. This highlight's going to take forever to load. So Brian just passes it to Ambrose, who's not marked, and he just rifles it. I will take that every day of the week. Sweet Jesus. Immediate highlight. Terrifying. Carson to Fowler. McComb to Nolan. Oh, of course they would get that. Oh, come on. Daniel Akindaini, if that's how you say your name. Okay, so Townsend totally messed that up. And then Kavanaugh. Okay, so my wing backs got fucked, pretty much. That's annoying. Another Brian free kick. Fowler takes that out. Summerfield. We do not have a lot of people back. Luckily, they did not break that fast. Can you depend to Oliver? I swear to God. Richards gets that crap out of there. Fab oh, is passing. He's not on the field to pass. This. Dude, what? Get the hell out of here. Fabal is literally screwed us there. That poor pass, and they just wrecked our shit. Kavanaugh again exploited. <sighs> he kept him on side. That's not good. It's not stats wise, we're not doing terribly. Kavanaugh, oh god, I hate that. I do not get how many times you can have a throw in. Ambrose scores. It's a foul or own goal. I'm guessing it hit him in like the back of the head or something. I really don't understand the throw-in logic in some of these these players, though. They'll throw it straight to the opposition for no reason. Whatever, I'll take it. It's 2-2. This game has been insanity. Richards. 
Oof, uh, Jesus Christ, we're gonna have five. Okay, why is that even a highlight? Wasn't even on target, <laughs> for Christ's sake. Oh my goodness. We're in fifth right now. I'm gonna be like, I'm, I'm not pleased. Cause that was atrocious. <sighs> Jamie Kirtan's not coming on. Falpala's gonna have to deal with it. Turn your shit around, son. Uh, Keen Bryan having an incredible game as always. Uh, Strain's not having the greatest game either. You know, besides both of them directly influencing their goals, they're on good ratings. So I guess that makes sense. Just getting in the second half. I mean, I don't really see. Let me see. Do some pro zone stuff. How many key passes? Have York had? They've all come from different people. But they're mostly from the central part of the pitch. Katonda, Carson. Mostly their midfield. I mean, we're not. I'll show you my opposition instructions right now, because I go by position. Maybe we'll close down Summerfield. Kind of just get a body onto him. Disrupt his passing game. I mean, we have a packed midfield. We should be able to mark these guys and not have an issue. Kavanaugh, have some space, son. There you go. It went in. Oh, Flinders. You poor, poor man. 3-2. Sweet Ambrose header. Poor Flinders. I feel bad. That's a sad one immediately from the kickoff too so Ambrose heads it what the hell happens oh oh dear Flinders tries his best windmill mosh pit attack and it clearly did not work Kavanaugh with two assists today that's the thing when they play this 5-3-2 like when they also use wing backs we tend to be better at it so we tend to control the game more but I'm not happy that they've scored two goals on three shots on target that is absolutely unnecessary Nothing's really happening. That's a little agitating. Why would you got a yellow? That's about it. Make some subs in a couple minutes. Jesus. John Joe Kenny. That's a great name. Uh, Townsend throwing to Ambrose. Townsend all the way to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's had a really good game today. Oh, Brian just got that blocked. Throw in. Nothing. All right. We're only up by one. Like I am terrified to make a lot of changes. Kavanaugh's had a great game, but he's really struggling for fitness. I don't know if I should take him off or not. The rainbow caught on for Labadee. You know, Labadee's had a great game. Falpala, not so good today. Not so good. And then, if anything, I'll bring Kavanaugh off with like five minutes left. Oh, God. Nolan, oh, good tackle. Richards, low. Oh, come on. How do we not? Nolan again. Ferdinand finally does his job. Oh, for Christ's sake. No freaking way. I hate this game. He just. Why is DiCamona not. He literally moved out of the way, like, oh, hey, go, hey, go ahead. I'm so frustrated right now. you got to be kidding me. We're bringing Nasser with the auto. I mean, it's not going to change anything. We're going to draw with York. That's going to be annoying. We go from just completely wrecking, wrecking everybody. It's three straight, just dropping points now. We are not going to win this game. Three goals with four shots on target. That is absurd. I bring in a new defender. I bring in a new right back. And still the same shit. It wasn't good enough. Dude, Bocott, I don't care if you're demotivated. That's ridiculous. Deal with it. Jesus. I'll see you guys at the schedule. And we'll figure out the next game. 
All right, guys. So, I mean, it makes the most sense. Oxford's the last game of the season. I mean, it'll be the la our, our next episode at least, and then depending on playoffs or automatic promotions, we'll see what happens. Maybe there'll be more episodes. Maybe there'll be a crazy long ass thirty-five minute episode where I'll just do the whole playoff spots, which the whole playoff, which would be interesting and fun. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. If you have, if you feel like you have an opinion and want to say, hey, you should do this, leave a comment. You know, we can interact and stuff. It'd be fun. But yeah, so Oxford, next game. I think that works. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you so desire. And uh, I will see you guys next time for the game against Oxford.